Welcome back to The Explanation Pro. Today I'll recap a comedy film called, If I Were Rich Man. Spoilers incoming. The main character, Santi, wakes up in his van as someone knocks from outside. He opens the door and sees a policewoman who tells him that he's not allowed to park there. He then tells her that he's a port worker, to which she asks for his ID. She gave him a ticket after he couldn't show her one. After that, he goes to one of the yachts for work where he cleans up. The owner then tells him that he won't need him anymore after and is tasked to clean the toilets to humiliate him. He drives off after work until his car stops in the middle of the road. Santi then takes an empty gallon of water and walks to the gasoline station. A car passes by a puddle near him, spraying water over his shirt. He arrives at the station, where his friend, Pedro, works. They talk about their class reunion that's happening later that evening and that an old batchmate of theirs, who they call Fatass, is also coming. Santi tells him that he can't go because he's meeting with a lawyer and his wife, mate. Pedro sees his ruined shirt and gives him a t-shirt with the gasoline station's name for him to wear. During the meeting with the lawyer, mate looks at his shirt and then at him disappointedly. The lawyer then tells them that they would have to split their assets evenly. She then says that they have nothing but their house and Sandy's van. They start a passive-aggressive exchange between selling the van or not. The lawyer also suggests to them that they share the house for a while until the divorce becomes valid. Santi then starts to walk until mate tells him that he can stay in the house until he gets a job. After the meeting, Santi tries to ask mate out to dinner but she turns him down. They then part ways and an old lady nearby tells him that she's not coming back. The lady convinces him to buy a lottery ticket, joking that his chances of winning are the same as the chances of them getting back together. He attends the reunion that night and meets up with another friend, Marcos. He starts talking about mate and asks if Marcos has seen her and if she was with someone. Marcos answers vaguely while Santi continues to talk provocatively until he sees that Marcos's son is also there. Marcos then bribes the child and sends him to his mother, just as Pedro arrives. Santi meets a man who tells him that they were in the same class. Santi doesn't recognize him and asks if he sat with or behind Fadass and makes mean comments about him. The man doesn't respond for a while, which makes Santi realize that the man, whose real name is Mario, is actually Fadass, but now thinner. Mate approaches them and Santi finds out that she works for him, making him jealous. Santi comes home that night and throws the lottery ticket before he sleeps on the couch. The next morning, Mate bids him good morning while she takes the trash. She also tells him that Mario is willing to give him a job at the supermarket. Santi insinuates that they're going out before she says that Mario is a better partner in bed. She then leaves and throws the trash outside. While taking a bath, Santi hears the winning combination from the radio. He then goes outside and looks through the trash for his ticket. He checks the numbers as his neighbors judge him, before realizing that he won the lottery. He gets dressed and leaves a voicemail for mate while driving to the supermarket. He drives to the parking lot where Santi thinks they kiss. However, mate actually tells Mario that she's not ready for another relationship just yet. Santi then drives away and goes to the bank. Santi lines up and the employees realize that he is the winner of the lottery and start to approach him. He then starts to leave and as he drives away, the policewoman sees that he committed a parking violation again. Inside the van, the bank manager, Damien, managed to sneak in the back and starts talking to him about how to manage his finances. Santi wants him to get out and threatens to call the police. Damien then points out that the police are already there. Santi stops the van and the policewoman threatens to throw him in jail. Damien then tells the policewoman that Santi won the lottery, to which she lets them go. They then go to a fancy restaurant where Damien starts to plan on how to handle Santi's money so that he doesn't lose all of it. He then asks Santi if he's married and if they have shared assets or a prenup. Santi answers that he's getting divorced and that he shares his assets with his wife. Damien then informs him that he would have to give half of his winnings to his wife. They leave the restaurant and Damien tells Santi that if he doesn't want to give her half, then he would have to keep his win a secret, even from his friends. He then sees Mate and Mario getting off their car. Santi pretends to work there and tries to annoy Mate by being passive-aggressive. He then tries to ruin Mario's car but finds out that the car he destroyed belonged to someone else. Santi goes to his interview with Mario. Mate enters the room to give him a report and they start competitively flirting with her. He gets hired to stock shelves. He spends his money on many luxurious things. 
Santi then sees Marcos with his family. He hides in a jewelry shop and asks the shopkeeper to turn them away. She does and he buys a pair of earrings from the store. He goes home and his purchases in the garage. He then drinks some fancy wine and eats some fancy food. He starts to dance in the living room until maid arrives. Santi hides on the couch and takes off all his expensive clothes. She drinks some of the wine on the table and starts apologizing to him because she didn't know that he'd get hired as a restocker. She sits beside him on the couch and he hides away his arm so she wouldn't see his new watch. He then starts to kiss her to distract her more but mate gets angry and leaves. Santi dines and stays at a hotel that Damien had booked for him, where a certain woman catches his eye. The next morning, Santi goes to the beach with Pedro and Marcos to surf. While there, his friends start to badmouth the lottery winner and he starts to defend himself. His friends become suspicious of him and ask if he was the one who won. He then laughs and tells them that he wouldn't be stocking shelves in a supermarket if he did, which manages to convince them. They then see Mario on the beach. They have a drink and watch him surf, expecting him to be bad at it. The three of them later drive home and voice out their jealousy. Pedro starts rolling a joint when the policewoman tells them to stop the car. Santi hides at the back and covers himself with a blanket. He notices the cop late enough that the policewoman demands the backpack where he hides the joint. She sees the joint and starts arresting them when she notices that there's someone else in the back. She asks Santi to get out of the car but he doesn't. The policewoman then pulls out a gun and yells at him to get out. Santi listens this time and the policewoman lightens up when she sees that it's Santi. She then lets them go, which makes his friends confused. The next morning, Santi wakes up late for his job at the grocery. He realizes that he can't wear a coat and switch his clothes with an employee before riding in a fancy car. The car stops by the gasoline station and Santi panics, before realizing that Pedro can't see him because the windows are tinted. He arrives at the grocery and mate asks him where he slept. He tries to tell the truth but mate then interrupts him, telling him that he can sleep in his van but he would have to tell her. Mario then approaches them and scolds Santi for being late before telling him to improve his surfing before he leaves for a meeting. Santi then flies a famous surfer to train him. They surf at the beach, where Mario sees them together and is surprised by the two of them bonding. His friends call him later that night and he tells them that he's having dinner with the famous surfer. They think he's just lying and trying to make himself feel better. The next morning, Santi goes to buy the yacht he worked on earlier in the film. Damien tries to change his mind as the yacht is quite expensive. Santi manages to buy the yacht at a lower price and makes the former owner clean the toilets to humiliate him. They then walk through the street after Santi shops when Damien tells him about how they lost a million in investments. Santi then sees Pedro and Marcos walking toward them. He hides his purchases in a trash can and they see him. They notice the suit he's wearing and ask how he was able to afford it. He then says that he works as a suit tester as he watches a man collect the trash. He comes home that night and realizes that mate's parents came over for dinner. Santi doesn't like the food they prepare as he's used to fancy food now. Mate's father drinks the expensive wine Santi bought earlier. He says that it reminds him of another expensive wine he drank with his wife before and can't believe that Santi bought the wine from the supermarket at a cheap price. Mate's mother notices that he's pale and they push him to eat the dinner food more. He excuses himself to the bathroom and starts throwing up. While he's away, Mate's parents ask her if their relationship is alright and she tells them that they're just having a bad time. He goes back and her parents notice his new watch and his new phone starts to ring. To avoid being exposed, he tells them that he and Mate are having a divorce. Mate is frustrated with him and walks away. He goes to the bar after, where he meets the girl again. He starts talking to her she introduces herself as Christina and gives Santi her number before leaving. He calls Damien and sets up a plan with him to have Pedro hired as a model and to give Marco some money under the disguise of it being an inheritance from a distant aunt. After they execute the plan, Damien and Santi go to the golf club. Santi sees Mario there and Damien tells him that Mario applied for a loan at the bank so that he could sell the grocery, which would leave the employees without a job. Santi then pretends to be Damien's caddy and Mario approaches the two of them. Mario tells Santi that he should be at the supermarket. Santi goes to work at the grocery later, where rumors of the place closing down have already reached the employees. Mate's father sees them and asks Santi to buy more of the same watch as his because his co-workers also want one. 
As he leaves, Santi tries to tell Mate about Mario's plans when Mario interrupts them. Mario tells her that Santi works at the golf club when he's supposed to be working at the grocery. Mate, upon hearing this, is disappointed in Santi and fires him from the grocery. He goes outside to the parking lot where Marcos arrives with a new sports car, which he says he bought with his new inheritance. Santi says that he thought that Marcos would be using his money to buy a minivan that he needed. Marcos then asks him why Santi cares about how he would spend his money. His friends start to think that he's just jealous of them. Marcos accidentally drives the car off a cliff as Santi tells them that he was the one who won the lottery. They go to a bar later that night where Santi ends up alone in a corner. The next morning, Mate receives a call from Mario and they talk sweetly. Santi then calls Christina and asks her to meet later in order to make Mate jealous. He spends the night with Christina, while Mate is with Mario. They soon begin feeling uncomfortable during sex, as they don't vibe together with their current partners. They go home later that night and lie to each other about having a great session with their own partners. Mate goes out with Marcos's wife the next day. She thinks they're happy now that they're rich but Marcos's wife tells her that they never stop arguing. Mate then receives a call from Mario and she goes to the grocery, where he announces to the employees that he's closing down the place while pretending to be empathetic with their situation. Santi then asks Mate out for dinner and to be civil to one another, which she accepts. He then hires people to cook and clean the house for their date. Mate arrives earlier than expected and Santi locks the people he hired in the garage. The two of them start to reconcile and even share a kiss before Santi tells her that it was him that won the lottery. Mate gets frustrated and starts to leave. She then notices some lights in the garage and opened it to see the people Santi hired along with his many purchases. She kicks him out of the house. Meanwhile, Marcos is also kicked out of their new house as he has a fight with his wife. The two of them stay on Santi's yacht. Pedro joins them soon and blames Santi for being a laughingstock after his new commercial just got released. Marcos defends Santi, saying that he just wanted to share his winnings with them but Pedro makes him realize that Marcos' home life is now ruined because of being rich. The two of them leave the yacht. The next morning, Santi calls Damien and says he wants all of it to stop. They finalize some documents and say a tearful goodbye to one another. Mate receives the 12.5 million euros and the signed divorce papers from Santi before hearing about how the grocery won't be shutting down because a man bought it. She rushes to the store and sees the happy employees. She then goes to the office to see Mario but accidentally hears about his initial plan and that he never cared about the employees as he tells her that it was just business. Damien enters the room and informs Mate that she's the new director of the grocery. She realizes that it was Santi who was behind all of this and finds out that he's about to board a flight. She runs to the parking lot and finds her car impounded by the policewoman. Mate pleads for the policewoman to let her go. The police don't budge until she hears Santi's name. She then lets Mate ride on her motorcycle and drives her to the airport. Mate enters the airport and pushes through the crowds before managing to catch up to Santi. They then share a kiss. A year later, they have a party as everyone else's life is going better. Marcos and his wife have made up and are now having their third child. Pedro has his new successful YouTube channel. Then, someone tells them that Fatass is coming. The ground shakes as Mario, who gained weight again, arrives. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.